Hello friends, welcome to this channel. I am making this video today because still some people are confused about various things. So today in this particular video, we will be discussing the basic things, the most fundamental things in data science like uh, what is the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and data science itself. So I am going to clear all your confusion and I am going to tell you what exactly is artificial intelligence, what exactly is machine learning, what exactly is deep learning and how do we use data science considering all this particular technology and work. So let us go ahead and let us just think I am also going to create some Venn diagram. So let me consider that this is uh, my Venn diagram. So AI and the main work of AI, you have heard of AI applications, you have heard of AI engineer kind of positions. So AI basically helps us to, it enables the computer or machine to think that basically means without any human intervention the machine will be able to take its own decision and always remember guys whatever i am talking about over here with respect to ai right this is the final goal you are basically creating an ai application uh, like self-driving car there is an ai application which actually use machine learning and deep learning within them is basically an ai application it does some kind of task so finally this is my final goal i have to reach over here and create an ai app okay now when i think about machine learning machine learning is a subset of ai okay and what does machine learning help us to do it provides us to statistical tool statistical tool to explore the data it's very simple definition guys it provides us some statistical tools to explore and understand about that particular data now when i talk about machine learning in machine learning you have three different approaches one is supervised machine learning i will also discussed about what exactly supervised okay so the second technique is something called as unsupervised machine learning. The third technique is something called as reinforcement learning. This is also called as semi-supervised machine learning. Okay. This technique of machine learning is basically ranging in this. So in case of supervised, we will be having some label data, you know, some past data and with the help of this kind of data we will be actually able to do the prediction for the future let me just take a very good example suppose based on i have two features in my database like uh, height i have and weight as my two features and i want to classify whether that person will belonging to an obese category or whether it belongs to fit category right so this kind of data initially whenever i am making my model at that time i will have this data in my hand previously only and what i will do i will create a model train on that data and with the help of those kind of data i will be actually creating a supervised machine learning model that basically means that in case of supervised, we have past data, past label data. Okay. We know what will be the output of this particular data. Now, in the second category, when I talk about unsupervised machine learning, here I will not be having any label data. That basically means in my data set, I will not know what is the output. So, in unsupervised machine learning we usually solve 
clustering kind of problems clustering you know there are different different clustering techniques like uh, k-means clustering hydrocal mean clustering so in unsupervised machine learning we will actually be solving clustering technique and when i say clustering what exactly it does is that based on the similarity of the data it will try to group that data together and there is some mathematical concepts like uh, like uh, euclidean distance actually used inside that with uh, with a part to its some other techniques also so most probably here are two different algorithms or three different decorative algorithms one is k means clustering hydrocal mean clustering db scan clustering these are the three popular clustering algorithm that we basically used in unsupervised machine learning now in case of reinforcement learning what will happen is that some part of your data will be labeled and later on some part of the data will not be labeled so the computer or the machine learning model learns slowly by seeing the past data and it will be learning as soon as the new environment new data will be coming up so i hope you understand this that is what we are actually doing over here the most important part is that we need to have data it also provides some statistical tools to the nl to analyze explore and analyze the data okay and this is the three different techniques that we basically have in machine learning the last and the third part which is deep learning deep learning is again a subset of machine learning now why did deep learning got created so what scientists thought is that can we make the machines learn like how we with how we with the help of human brain actually try to learn things that was a main idea behind deep learning so over here in deep learning you create architecture which is called as multi neural network architecture so at the end of the day we are basically using multi neural network architecture and we are actually creating some deep learning neural networks the main idea behind deep learning is to mimic human brain you know how human actually learns those concept similarly we are creating models over here which is learning those things and the most important thing is multi neural network architecture right and in deep learning also you have various techniques one is ann that is artificial neural network the second one is cnn that is convolution neural network and the third one is rnn which is called as a recurrent neural network most of the problem statements most of the data which is actually present in the form of numbers will be solved with the help of ann and you know artificial neural network suppose our input is in the form of image then we will basically use cnn that is convolution neural network and suppose if our input is in the form of tiny series kind of data at that time we will be using recurrent neural network apart from this there are also techniques like transferring learning you know there is some advanced neural networks extension of the cnn advanced cnn suppose if uh, i take a, an example of mars rcnn right so these are some advanced neural network architecture which where you base is actually a cnn architecture so you should try to understand this first of all i am actually using this concept of machine learning and deep learning and the main goal is to derive an ai application you know by using this particular techniques i want to create a model which will be like 
like i want to create a self driving car so that would be my application in the self driving car maybe okay now the question arises where does data science fit into this right now data science is a technique which try to apply all this particular part means all these techniques that is basically machine learning deep learning now apart from that it also uses some tools like some mathematical tools like statistics you know probability linear algebra and whole lot of different different maths like differential calculation and all and that is what this is basically ds that is data science so a data scientist will have to work on ml dl based on the type of use case by using some mathematical tools like statistics probability linear al algebra and many more okay and he may work in this three kind of machine learning he may work in this three kind of deep learning techniques right and this is the basic difference between an artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning and the data science itself you have whole lot of these things that you basically learn when you want to become a data scientist it's not it amazing right so yes this was all about this particular session i hope you understood this particular session that we discussed that what is the basic difference between ai ml dl and the data science so i hope you all guys are now clear with this i will see you in the next session thank you for watching bye and have a nice day